The Vampire Crep of Edoran is a spawn that is mostly recommended for paladins and mages, but is doable for knights and is actually a great choice for this level range. This spawn is located to the northwest of the city, by the Dragon Lair, and at Manos 3 it consists of bone bees, demon skeletons, necromancers and vampires. My lower recommendation is of 70 plus, and you should grab a blessed wound and stake before hunting here, as using that on the death vampires has a chance of giving you vampire dust. These are really valuable on new servers, but also a good price in general for most servers. Doing the quest for the stake takes around 15 minutes, that's if you want to save money from buying it at the market. Also keep in mind, if you're under level 80, you can pick up the task for Bombies at Grizzly Adams, part of the Killing in the Name of quest. You can also pick the task to kill necromancers and other creatures, but I don't recommend doing it, because it requires a total of 4000 kills and by the time you finish that, it's likely that the soul stone drop from the boss is not worth the effort. With that aside, let's talk about the actual spawn. This place is very small, but the spawn rate is high, so you can easily hunt on this floor alone. As a solo knight, doing this room was enough for me, and overall I don't recommend going to the northeast side, as when you clear that room, you will have to go back, and there won't be any monsters for a while, which will lower your experience a bit. Also, as usual with my videos, at this level range, it's important to guide the monsters, please don't stand still, or else it will be a lot more difficult to hunt. On my hunts, I was on average at 360k experience an hour, with the skills of 82 and imbuements of mana and crit tier 1. As for the profit, well it can vary depending on the price of vampire dust and vampire teeth, but usually to make profit it's necessary to loot a rare drop, otherwise you're looking at just covering your ways most of the time. Because even though vampires are quite profitable, the mix of creatures here makes it less efficient for profiting. And in case you're wondering what these items are for, the vampire does are for addons and a quest, and the vampire teeths are needed for life leash imbuement. That's it for this video. If you want to support the channel, consider subscribing or supporting directly with TV coins donations to Goody Donation. Thank you for watching and check out my playlist for solo line leveling for more spawns to hunt.